done with Eric the Midget officially. I just want to tell him. I, I can't take it anymore. <laughs> what happened now? I got to say, Eric, you know, I'm the one guy on the show who loves you, but you, I think I'm at my, I think I'm at the breaking point. I have had it. What did he do? Oh, he's such a pain in my ass. Eric, I got everybody here coming to me about you. Let's just forget it. No. I took that book and test. I sat there for an hour and a book and a half taking that test. I have the rights to the results here no. and now. You heard the first <laughs> IQ test on the air. I told you, we find out the results on the air. If you can't go along with the game and you're going to ruin it, you just ruin everything. I've tried my hardest to make you part of the crowd. You can't go with the flow. You're just too difficult for me. I don't want to deal with it anymore. Let's be done with each other. No. And then, uh, <laughs> he won't even let you go. Like, let me off the hook with you. I, I, I know you took the IQ test. Thanks for being a good sport. Part of the fun is to find out on the air. Why in God's name would we give you the results ahead of time? What possible fun would that be for you to find out privately? The fun is for you to find out on the air. Because if you don't like the results, you're not going to let us have them. I mean, you've been listening to this show a long time. You don't even seem to understand the show and the, the male camaraderie involved. And he just... doesn't care. He always wants things his way. He doesn't care whatever else is going That's on. That's what I mean. He, Eric, we're done with each other, we, okay? He's not no playing hard in this game. He's got his own Wait. game. Yeah. Let's end it. Wait a Wait a fucking minute. What also happened to this supposed surprise if I took the test? You won't even want the surprise. You're too difficult. It'll never work out. I had an idea for you. I knew something about Jillian Barbary was going down. I was going to hook you into it. But forget it. You're too difficult. Oh, that, that was a surprise? I had already known about that. But I was getting you involved, genius. No. Yes. I, she called me I, and asked I, me about you, and I was going to hook you into it. I'm always looking oh out for you. I'm always God. trying to get you work. I've had it with Jim you. McCor Jim McCor had already called me a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, because I didn't want you to miss out. This thing was dragging on. I'm always looking out for you. And this is your problem, well, Howard. I'm, I'm done with him. I'm done with him. I'm done with him. It, the, you know, he doesn't even like his this thing you were putting together. It's not a surprise. You weren't doing all that much. I wish you. I wish your head would really explode. It was a surprise when we first brought it up to you. When we tried to get you to do the test, and then we had to let you in on it because you're just a fucking pain in the ass, and we didn't want the time to go by. But then we decided you're too fucking difficult. And by the way, you lied yesterday on the air. I said to you, you browbeat the shrink, didn't you? No, I didn't. You fucking did. You're a liar. How many times no, did he call I the shrink? Not. How many times did he call the shrink? I don't know, Jason, how many times? You've been calling the shrink. You browbeat him when he was there that day. You said, I want my results now. And he said, I'm not supposed to give them to you. And you said, I fucking want them. You're mean. You're a, t you're a little terrorist. A tyrant. You weren't, weren't going to sign the paper. Now, he how come when we asked you about lie. that yesterday, you just fucking lied about it? He fucking lied, you fucking eight face. I did not brow fucking beat the guy. You don't even know when you're browbeating someone. Results. You asked for them. I asked. You're not the situation. You're the bituation. Eric, this is ridiculous. How would it be a bit? Why would we go through the trouble of taking IQ tests for you to find out ahead of time? You know what? At this point, I don't fucking care what the fuck results are. Bye, fuck faces. <laughs> He's a bully. Uh, he just wants to hang up on us because he knows you're done with him. Well, I can't. Do I mean, what am I supposed to do? I said, hey, Eric, what, you want to do the IQ test? Yeah, I want to do the IQ test. I said, okay. All right, great. Look, he could be under control, but you always give in to him. Yeah, I'm not hit giving in this time. It's crazy. And he's not allowed to hang up on me. I hang up on him. <laughs> <laughs> I dare you. Uh, I love Eric. I do. But he's so difficult. You know, he, he, he wants the results ahead of time. How is that? How is that fun? The fun is finding out on the air, as I announced. And he knew the deal going in. Of course. He heard the first one. But he wanted to do, he only wanted to reveal if he thought he was beating everybody here. Right. He has a personality where he wants to control everything. And unfortunately, on this show, I control everything. But the, but the thing is, he only would have released those results if they were beneficial to him. He didn't want to play the game. Right. Anyway, so I give up. For those of you who are anxious to... Have uh, Eric the Midget participate? Forget it. 
And Gary, I don't want any results issued to him either. He can't get them, and we won't get them. Oh, no, we get them. But we won't release them. No, I'm not releasing them. We He's actually new. have them, Howard, but I don't know. Jason has them. No one else has seen them. And find me a new midget to work with. Well, I think we should do a contest for a new midget. I really do. Yeah. I think we should find a different And I'll person. get him tons of work. You know that, um, that there's somebody else already interested in hiring him for something? Well, fuck him. I'm not going to tell him. Don't. You're not to talk to him anymore. <laughs> I don't talk to him. He fucking yells at me on my voicemail, and then when I talk to him on the air, he calls me an ape face. <laughs> You have someone who wants to hire him, right? We have we have something such great opportunities die. for him. Howard, something that he would die for. Really? Die for. Well, after the IQ test, if he lets us do it, then you'll tell him what it is. And not a minute before. See, there you go, giving in to him again. Don't you want to know his IQ? <laughs> I can go back there and look at the paper. <laughs> <laughs> you don't come to think of it, so can I. <laughs> But I won't. <laughs> oh, John is, I mean, Jan is on. Eric, Eric the Midget's caregiver defending oh, Eric. Oh, what is he? There's no defense. <laughs> hey, Jan. I like Jan. You do? Y yeah, Jan's reasonable. Eric isn't. You think? I do think so. I like Jan. Poor guy. Hey, Jan. So there's a little problem here. Go ahead, Jan. Either you guys are bullshitting or this doctor's full of shit. I'm the one that was there. The doctor straight out asked Eric as soon as we got there, do you want the results tomorrow or do you want to wait till you hear him on the Stern Show? Well, That's I'm imagining was to it. <clears throat> I'm imagining, Jan, that the doctor wasn't aware of how we, what we want to do on the air. It's not that, Jan, you even know, and explain it to Eric. That it, there's no suspense if Eric finds out ahead of time. The fun is when I reveal who's in first place, who's in last place, and who's in the middle. Doesn't work for me if Eric knows the result ahead of time. Okay, but I'm talking <clears throat> about the the doctor. He probably made a mistake saying that to Eric. Lying. Well, he's not lying. He didn't know. He's a good guy. No one's out to screw Eric. I'm okay, trying to make Eric. Up? I'm trying to give Eric some of the fun. Trying to get him in the crowd. He wanted to be a part of this. He's just always so difficult, Jan. I, I listen. I admire you. I don't know how you take it. I don't know. You deserve a medal. So did the doctor say that Eric Brow beat him to get the results or no? I don't know. He said that he did hear from Eric, but I don't, listen, that's Gary's interpretation. All I know is, as the guy sitting here hosting the show. Gary's a fucking retard anyways. Hmm. Well, who doesn't know that? But first of all, it's not just my oh. interpretation. It's, it's Jason's interpretation. He, Jason spoke to the doctor, so I'm just sort of funneling it Please, in. I'm talking to Jan, Gary. Well, I'm, 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 I can't I'm talk to Eric. Eric. I can talk to Jan. I know, but Jan shouldn't take shots at me. It's, I'm, I, I, don't, I, I feel bad for him that that's his fucking lot in life. He's going to watch that little shrimp. Well, Jan has a tough job. There's no question. Yes, but don't take it out of me. Anyway, Jan. So what is Jan calling to say? Hey, yeah, Jan, what are you saying? If I'm trying to say if that's what the freaking doctor's saying, it's a bunch of bullshit anyways. Well, I'm just telling yeah, you, the doctor... Yeah, but the way the contest goes is we reveal the results on the air, and they shouldn't go to Eric first. Now Eric is almost demanding them first. Hey, Jan, the doctor doesn't work for our show, so he doesn't really know what's going on. He was just trying to be a nice guy. But it doesn't work for us if Eric knows the results ahead of time. What fun is that? All right. Well, I'll go ahead and write back. I mean, I'm right back. I'll call back when the results come back, because there's some things I wonder about about the test anyways. Well, uh, anyway, d d tell Eric, you know, if he doesn't want to play the game the way we have it set up, then just let's forget everything. I don't care anymore. He's, he's I don't know about you, but he's eating my kishkas out. <laughs> and I don't know how you take care of it. I mean, it's like American Idol. You know how they don't give the results out ahead of time? Yeah. I mean, Eric understands American Idol. Imagine if American Idol told the contestants the, the, uh, the, the results ahead of time. You wouldn't have a show. It doesn't make well, sense, right? By what the he was just going by what the doctor said. I know, but the doctor doesn't know. He's not part of the American Idol <laughs> show. You, you know what I'm saying? He doesn't understand. He's just trying to be a nice guy. Okay. I thought it would have been fun. How could you have American Idol if, the, if they know the results ahead of time? All right. Well, the doctor shouldn't. If the doctor's lying about what Eric did to try to get the results. He's not lying at all. He's just an innocent guy who administers IQ tests. He's a nice okay. guy. This doesn't have to be this way. Eric understands American Idol. Jan, do me a favor. Explain to Eric it's like American Idol. And believe right. me, if he gives you a hard time, you got a hard enough life with him. Then just give it up. Forget it. Right. What can we do with this guy? All right. But, you like understand said, what I'm we'll, saying? 
Yeah, we'll see when the IQ test comes in what's going on there. Yeah, I, 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 listen, Jan, I can't deal with this guy anymore. This Eric the okay. you got to deal with him. You're the so only one who can talk to him. You're the only one talking to this guy. All right. All right. Well, we'll see what happens when it comes out. All right, let me know, Jan. All right. Later. That's Jan who has the uh, incredible task of taking care of Eric the Midget. He's my only lifeline to that midget. I can't deal with Eric anymore. Jan's the only one I can deal with. Uh, <laughs> I think he has a very tough job. Yeah. Is he ever. I mean, but... Uh, I, if I'm right about this, Jan will make this all better. I don't know. I'm telling you, Jan knows what to do with that midget. All he's got to do is not wipe him for a day or two. <laughs> <laughs> and then Eric's back in line. Well, I'd hate to see that happen. No, but listen, Eric knows. Eric knows. That American Idol. Imagine if they said to Clay Aiken and Kelly Clarkson, here's the results ahead of time. Act surprised. Show up anyway. How would you have a show? If we're doing an IQ test, and we're testing John Hine in this one, and we're all betting on who's going to win. If Eric knows the results, there's no suspense. I mean, what kind of fucking maniac is he? And the IQ guy doesn't know what's going on. He's just giving an IQ test. I give up. I, this Eric the Midget is a handful and a half. I can't deal with him anymore. I think I'm at my end. I, I, Angelo, I can't take it. I can't take it. This is where Angelo says something. <laughs> Angelo doesn't. Yeah, Howard. Works morning either. to you. Morning. Hey, well, let's be done with this fucking guy, really. Okay, he I'm is with the you. Most unappreciative. He is fucking scumbag. There is. Now I, I see run it. Him over with my truck and back over him a thousand. Oh. Times. Well, we don't want violence. No violence, but you know what I mean. Although I like Come that on, TV show where his head exploded. He hasn't parlayed. Anything, no. you know, he, he he could have been doing everything you had him set up for and stuff. Angelo, so many chances. I've please. had it, Angelo. I'm with you. You don't have to talk. I love you. If, I, if I, you don't have to the, talk sense to me anymore, I'm one of the converted. How about Monday? Can we please give me your word? Let's have one show before you leave. If you're going to leave, with that's Eric Free. Eric Free. Okay, everything. you got it. No Eric yeah. the Midget on Monday. Now, let's hope I can stick to that. Gary's book is out. They call me Baba Booey. I was watching Howard TV. At the end of uh, the Howard TV segment yesterday, if you have a Howard TV, you got to wait till the end of the show because they do a whole wrap-up on Baba Booey's book signing. Yes. With John Hine, and John Hine's interviewing him, and oh, my God, I just love it. I love what Howard TV does that stuff. They, you know, they follow Baba Booey around. Right. He, they, like they followed Scott the week before. You're getting yeah. a little wrap up on Baba Booey's activities. Well, he loves to day. talk. He loves to talk. You know, don't forget, he's on this show in the morning. Then he does the wrap up show. And he's there with John Hyde. Boy, he doesn't get tired for a minute talking. You know, men are only supposed to have, you know, women are supposed to be the more talkative because we're supposed to need to use so many more words a day. Right. But I think Gary's like a fluke in the male species. Oh. He's got more words than Women and men combined. I know. He's unbelievably chatty. I, I'm trying to remember what he was talking about on the Howard TV thing. When he's doing the... It's a book signing, but Gary's talking to John Hine and taking questions from yeah, the but, crowd. But, but, and he's got an answer for everything. And he goes on... He, they should call him Babble Booey, not Baba Booey. <laughs> if, if, if I had nothing to say, you would... I, you used to say, Gary, you go and do these things, you have nothing to say. And when he's napping... He's napping. And when, when they he's, thought of napping? No, no. When he's not napping, he's yapping. <laughs> and he's babble buoy. I mean, it's unbelievable. He has something to say about everything. Any question they throw at him. They ask him, uh, what's your least favorite thing about Howard, what he does? And, you know, he, boom, 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 boom. And the answers, they fire off. He's very definite. But ask Gary a question. Ask I him a question. He'll have an answer. That he just, you know, because sometimes he'll just see you and he'll just start talking like whatever comes to his mind, yes. he'll say. Because it might not have a point, but he'll tell you the story. And at the end, you're like, why am I in this story? Right. <laughs> <laughs> There's a clip of Gary getting angry at someone in the audience last night on Gary Page One in Blue, I've been told. I wonder what that is. Did you get angry, Gary? Um, I don't. I don't 
don't think so. Well, let me hear. Oh, I know what this is. I'll tell you exactly what this is. Go ahead. It was, I'm getting into the car yesterday. There's an older, there's like a 75-year-old woman out front. She, and I'm, I'm late to go to a book signing. She said, can I get your autograph? I go, I'm really late. She goes, please, please, I'm a 72-year-old woman. I go, okay. She goes, I don't have a pen. <laughs> I'm like, I don't have a pen either. She's like, how could you leave? You know, she's like, you, I'm 72 years old. Come on, help me out. I go, I'd like to help you, lady, but I don't have a pen and I'm late. Was this for real? Yeah. Unless you guys are planting weird people. Yeah, that no, sounds like I mean, a Saturday Night Live skit. How come you don't have a pen? Don't you travel with a pen, you asshole? If, you, if I need an autograph, you should have a pen. That is so annoying. I mean, that is annoying. And what is she going to do with Baba Booey's autograph? That's what, what is I'm she saying? You know, what, what, you know what you wanted me to sign? What? what? Um, one of those, you know when you go to Dwayne Reed and get a prescription? Yeah. It was a prescription bag. Ah. Oh. <laughs> oh, she's going to go home and frame that shadow box it? Yes. <laughs> Give me That's, the fucking pen. There we go. Thank you, doll. You, if Good you luck answer- with your book. Thank you. Good luck with your book, Gary. Thank you. There you go. Thank you. Thanks, honey. Thanks. See Thank you. Bye. Can't turn your uh, light on. God, what the fuck is wrong with people? There's the hot spring. Listen, but it's like that's how you end up like you're the asshole. She's like, come on. I'm like, come on, what? Like, I got a pen up my ass? Yeah, at least she knew about your book. 72 year old woman. It's, I didn't even know that she knew about the book. Uh, she, she said, said good, good luck, luck with, with the book. book. Yeah, they missed the beginning of it. That, yeah, that, I know. That sounds like the interesting part they, they yeah, cut they out. Missed it. I know. They shouldn't even put that clip up, quite honestly. Right. Yeah, right. The interesting part was when she starts bugging you for the pen. Yeah, they kind of missed the money shot. Well, can I tell you? Hey, it's Gary Delabate, Baba Booey. It's day two. Uh, hey, it's Gary Delabate, Baba Booey. It's day two of my book tour. Uh, they call me Baba Booey. The book is in stores. Uh, and I'm down on Wall Street in New York City at Borders Books doing a signing. So here's what happened. Nice to, nice to meet you. How are you? Good. I kind of look exactly as I imagined. I think that's a good thing. <laughs> it's a good thing. Yeah. It'd be better than saying, oh my God, you're so much fatter than I thought. No, not at all. If I tell you to be nice to the Sal, will you tell me to shut up? No. <laughs> but, I won't, but I also won't be but nice. Won't be nice. Nice. I won't be nice. This is for the beats. The beats. Yeah, I don't that's know. it. We're only yeah. signing the book today. What do you got? What is it? It's a pen. I mean, it's yeah, I'll, I'll give it a. I'll give it a. Yeah. Where? Okay. Where was that? Like right here? Whatever you want. I want to get Howard in fit too. You know this picture, right? I do. It's in my man cave. Uh-huh. There you go. Thanks, man. All right, take care. Nice you this too, please? Okay. okay. All right, take care. Thank you so much, man. Thanks, man. Pleasure to meet you. You're the hardest working lucky bastard I know. I like that. That that about the yeah, that about defines it. Yeah, you got lucky to get the job and you work your ass off. I like that. I'm gonna steal that. You're more than welcome to it. It's on tape. You can take it, bro. <laughs> Tell Lisa G that. Lisa G, he's the hardest working lucky bastard ever. <laughs> And she She's might busy. be she might be busy taking a big shit. Yeah, she was very well. I'm sorry, I missed that. I said he's the hardest working lucky bastard. He was lucky and to get the job and he worked his ass off the people. I like that. I like the hardest working lucky bastard. I like that. Yeah. I'm gonna See? you should have had me write your 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 thing, you know? Right forward. 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 forward, exactly. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thanks, sir. Take care. Thank you very much. Come on, man. Start, what about some chatter? A little fun? Everybody's so quiet. <laughs> Hey, boy. <laughs> Where's your book? My book's at home. He signed my book. What did he say? A special message? He said, I think thanks for the support. I appreciate it. Love, Gary. Something like that. It was nice. It's such a good book. I'm so proud of him. So proud of him. And I think it would be a great movie. Absolutely. He could play himself. Who would you play in the movie? For me? Let me see. Mary? Uh, Nancy. <laughs> I want you back. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Um, 
I think it could be a great movie. Really great. We'll see. That's his publisher. What did you think of the uh, of the photos? The photos were great. I love books with photos, and I told Gary I would have loved to have seen more because it's such a great story, and because of the history of the show, I, I love old photos. So I, I think he did a great job. But I, I would have just bought a book if it was just the Gary Baba Booey picture book. <laughs> uh, last question. If uh, What's your prediction here for New York Times bestseller? Number one, New York Times bestseller list next week. Guarantee it. All right, please enjoy. Thank you. Okay. Give me the fucking pen. Yeah. There we go. Thank you, Charles. You, if Good you luck ask... with your book. Thank you. Good luck with your book, Gary. Thank you. There you go. Thank you. Thanks, honey. Thanks. See you. Thank you. Bye. Yeah, turn your, uh, Bye. Bye. God, what the fuck is wrong with people?